Hey everybody, um, I'm going to try to fix our little bear friend here for our youngest granddaughter. Um, he's got a problem. He's got a hole in his leg. He's looking kind of puny. So I'm going to see if I can fix him up. So I've got my sewing kits down here on the floor in front of me here, but I got some stuffing. I've already threaded the needle with some thread. So I'm gonna see if I can get his leg unpuny, get him stitched up and uh, get our granddaughter happy again. So I'm just got a, about a half inch wide hole here where the stuffing came out and that's where I'm gonna put the stuffing back in at. I'm just gonna take it, just kind of feed it in there a little bit. this up here where y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting the stuffing in his leg here. I say him. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So. There we go. Now the leg's not quite so puny. Now My needle, some black thread. I got my glasses. See if we can get this done. I don't know how to sew. <laughs> I figured out how to thread a needle. Uh, tied a knot in one end. Got the needle on the other end. I hope I got enough thread here. I'm just going to pass the needle through the material that the bear is made out of and loop it back on itself. So we'll see how well that works. I guess the trick is once you get it passed through, take the needle, pass it under the knot so that when you pull it, it pulls together and just Continue that. See if I can figure out how to set this camera so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. All right. So I got a tripod out. So I can angle this down so you folks can see what I'm doing. So, you can see on the front of his leg here, the little white speck is the opening. Take the needle. Find the sides of the material, not the fur. Pass the needle through. Find the loop that it's made. Pass the needle through the loop. Pull it tight. That pulls the material together. At least in theory, anyway. Find another spot. Loop the 
thread over the needle, pull it tight. Like I said, I'm, I don't profess to be a master seamster. Is that even a word? I don't know. Certainly not a seamstress. But I'm just continuing to pass the needle through the material. And then pass the needle through the thread. I know it's kind of hard to see. But not the first time one of our grandbabies has asked me to. do surgery on one of their little stuffed friends, which is fine, I don't mind. I think I've got that done. So, now comes the hard part. Got a tie knot in this. Gonna pass the needle through a loop here, but I gotta get the knot all the way down. To where the thread is. Cause I don't want the thread to back out. where y'all can see it right at the tip of my thumbnail is where the repair is and I used black thread so it's really hard to see <laughs> which is a good thing but the last thing I have to do for my little granddaughters is how many of y'all have ever had surgery you know that when you have surgery, the last thing the doctor, or in this case, the fat ball does, is after the stitches, you gotta bandage it up. There you go, Lisa Lou. Man and Papa love you. Love you very much.